my question is about the geopolitics around the, the North Pole. According to many analysts, the polar regions will become more accessible and hence more strategic in the future because of climate change. Russia, US, Canada and Scandinavian nations have an advantage because they have a presence there. Do you think tropical nations like India will miss out on this? Or is the whole polar geopolitical angle overrated? Good question. Very good question. Let's go back to the, um, to the map. Where's the map? Okay, let's go back and take a look at the polar regions. So the North Pole is somewhere here. It shows me a flat representation. So the North Pole, if you can see my mouse pointer, it's somewhere here. And as the Earth's climate gets warmer, the polar regions, which have throughout most of recent history been covered in ice, will become more open. You, you will see navigation becoming possible in these regions. And many nations will start taking advantage of that. I'm sure there are lots of uh, mineral resources and other resources available there, which are currently locked up inside the ice that may be freed up. So Russia has a prime position there. So does Canada. So does the US. And so do certain Scandinavian countries because they have this geo geographical proximity to the North Pole region. The Chinese, they call themselves a near Arctic country. And they currently have a good relationship with the Russians, which means that they might get access through Russia to the polar regions. The Chinese are already calling it the Polar Silk Road. They will send ships and icebreakers through this region to, uh, to engage in trade and transportation and, and things like that. And they may also be allowed by the Russians to maybe engage in drilling, offshore work and things like that if the things work out fine. So, so the Chinese may have access to the polar regions through Russia. Now, India, as you, as you, as you rightly say, is a, po is, a, is a tropical country. It's far away from the polar regions, from the North Pole. So what does India do? Well, let's take a bigger picture look at geography. Let's go straight south of India. What do we find? We find Antarctica. We have unimpeded access to Antarctica. Nothing stands in our way. If you stand at the beach in Somnath and you look south and you go south, you will have a direct access to Antarctica. If you, if you take a ship and go south, you will reach Antarctica without anything coming in the way. So India can access Antarctica. It is hard for India to access the North Pole region, but the South Pole region is much more accessible from India's perspective. Of course, right now there is this moratorium on exploiting Antarctica. Antarctica is the only unspoiled continent as of today. The untouched continent, no exploitation of its resources is currently allowed. Many countries, including India, have scientific research stations in Antarctica. And maybe in the future, as the geopolitical situation changes, as the world order changes, even Antarctica, unfortunately, may become open to uh, commercial exploitation, in which case it will be not very difficult for India to get involved in that. From the North Pole perspective, it's difficult because of the geographical situation. But from the South Pole perspective, it's much easier for India. So that's the current situation.